Hopefully you realize that you can extend the sides. And then this quadrilateral, our blue arcs are the interior angles, and the red arcs are the exterior angles. So we have four interior angles and eight exterior angles. You'll probably notice a pattern that with polygons, for each interior angle, we have two exterior. But this brings us to theorem 4.2, the exterior angle theorem. And what this theorem tells us is the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the two non-adjacent interior angles. This is probably easiest to show with some examples. Okay, in each example, I want you to find the values of x and y. I'm not sure why, but a little bit of that top right triangle got erased, so let me replace those values real quick. Okay, now that we finally have those values for that top right triangle, take your time, solve each of these, and I just realized the values were also missing for the bottom right, so let me replace those as well. And actually that third shape was for your homework problems. So now that our screen is actually looking how I want it to look, go ahead, solve for x and y. When you're ready, resume the videos and work through the solutions with me. Okay, so what this exterior angle theorem tells us is that our exterior angle, which in the green triangle case is x, is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interiors. Well, let's look at this. The adjacent interior angle would be this angle here. So we now know that x must equal the sum of the other two angles, so 64 plus 70. So x equals 134. Let's look at the blue triangle now. In this case, our exterior angle is 2y minus 2. The adjacent interior would be this angle that I just arced in red. So 2y minus 2 must equal the sum of the other two angles, which is y plus 45. I can subtract y from both sides, giving me y minus 2 equals 45. If I add 2 to both sides, I now get y equals 47. Okay, now we can move on to the homework example. So given the figure that you have to the right, where you have right angles marked, you are also given two green angles. I want you to find the measures of angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Work through this. If you're very, very curious, you can go on to the next video to see the solution. If not, we'll be working through it first thing in class tomorrow.